FMU, you're on the air. Sounds like someone needs some tomes. <laughs> What's that? Sounds like someone needs some tomes. Some. So this is Philly Boy Roy. Yeah. Why would I need tums? Well, you had some tummy troubles. No, is that I, right? It was not tummy. Little upset stomach. No, it was a little more than an upset stomach. Uh, what was it? I had a kidney stone. I had an upset stomach like that once too. Oh, it's, it was so painful. Yeah. Yeah. How'd when you... I was a kid, uh huh. I challenged our dog. Uh, Philly's third baseman, Mike Schmidt, to a hoagie-eating contest. You named your dog Mike Schmidt? No, you dummy. Well, what did you name your dog? I named it Philly's third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Oh, okay. Why? Why, why the introduction before, your, uh, before the name Mike Schmidt? What do you mean? That's his full title. It's, not, it's his, yes, it, well. Or okay. it was. Yeah, it was. I mean, he still is to all of us. Guess who won the the contest? So you you challenged your dog yeah. to a hoagie eating contest? Yeah. And who won? I did. How many hoagies did you eat? Well, he hardly ate any of his. He he only he ate like a quarter of one. He must uh-huh. not have liked the bologna. Uh-huh. Yeah. And how many did you eat? 16. Why? What do you mean? Well, you you kind of had your dog beat if you had eaten one hoagie. Well, yeah, but I wanted to just keep going, you know. I'm an Iron Man. You're you're an Iron Man? Yeah, I was also in an iron lung for about two weeks, too. Went back then? Yeah, because, as a result of it. Because you, ate, you yeah. ate so many hoagies. Yeah, and they were loaded with peppers and stuff. Well, that that wasn't very smart, but I did not have a stomach ache. What'd you have? You said you had kidney beans? No, I had a kidney stone. What's uh, that? It's a, I'm not going to even go into details. You can look it up. Okay. Where would I look it up? Like at the library? I'm sure you can go to the library and look it up, yeah. Maybe Roy could go look it up on his blackberries. Your son has a blackberry? No, he's got blackberries. What do you mean? It's like a little computer for your hand. Yeah, it's called a blackberry. No, it's blackberries, ain't it? It's just blackberry. Okay, let me write that down when I'm talking to him. Because I like to talk to my son sometimes to get on his level. Uh Uh-huh. Like you like like to rap with your son? Oh, no, not rap, no. I like to talk to him. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I meant meant it in the the slang way, rap. Oh, okay. I thought you meant in the music way. No, no. I don't do that so good. Hey, speaking of music. Yeah. Guess where I was a couple weeks ago. Where? Austin, Texas. You were in Austin, Texas? Yeah. <laughs> what, what took you to Austin, Texas? Oh, only the biggest music conference ever been given, South by Southwest. You, you went to South by Southwest? Oh, I certainly did, yeah. Why? What do you mean? Wawa sent me. Hold on. Wawa, the sandwich, the 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 uh, convenience store. Yeah, the you're you... talking to the new head of Wawa Records. <laughs> Wawa Records. Yeah. So so the the Wawa chain of convenience stores is starting a label. Yeah, it already did. Yeah. And that they you work there. I work there, but, you know, they, they knew I like music, so they put me in charge of the record company. You know, I'm always kind of playing my music tapes behind the hoagie counter. Uh-huh. Yeah. So they gave me carte lunch to sign whoever I wanted. So you run Wawa Records? Yeah. Wait, what did, did you say carte lunch? Yeah. Do you mean carte blanche? No, cart lunch. You know, like when you get anything you want. Like when the guy who runs the lunch cart at the factory gives you the best hot dog on his cart. Okay, let's just move forward. That I'm not even going to get into that with you. Okay. So, so they heard you play music tapes. Oh, yeah. And they decided to give you a... Uh, they decided to make you the president of the record label. I'm in charge. I'm the CEO. The CEO? Yeah, see, I never thought about that. It's yeah. Oh, so you don't say it like a word. 
<laughs> no, no, that's not a word. You write that down. So it's like C period E period O period. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Won't make that mistake no more. So, so they sent you to South by Southwest. Oh yeah. And what was the thinking behind that? Well, you know, we had a showcase. <laughs> you already have bands on your label. Oh, of course I do. Yeah. And you know, we actually put the ho- uh, CDs of the bands in the hoagies. W- what hoagies? The ones at Wawa. You mean like? So you mean like actual hoagies? Absolutely. You get a free CD in your hoagie, but you got to be careful though. Because it's in in the hoagie. Yeah, you might get a shredded tongue along with your shorty with extra peppers. And people, you don't. I mean, are people just pulling the CD out of the hoagie? Well, yeah, unless they bite into it first. Why? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I hope you're telling people that there's a uh, CD in the hoagie. Oh, there's a little flyer on the front window of the store. <laughs> so if you don't see the flyer, yeah, then you you pretty much stand a chance of just buying a sandwich. And then you leave with the sandwich, and you're eating it, and then you bite into an actual compact disc. Well, you know, caveat eruptor. Okay, I'm just going to move forward on that. I I can't teach you. (laughs) This is not a school. You know, we've been signing a lot of great bands. I think I might have mentioned this first band that we signed a couple years ago, maybe. Uh, Who was that? Heimzillian Brzeiman. I don't even remember. Oh, what? it's the it's the latest project by Rob Hyman and Eric Bazilian. The guys, those are the guys from the Hooters, right? They are the Hooters, you feel it, dummy. So Rob Hyman, yeah. and Eric Brazilian. The Bazilian, you dunce. Oh, I'm sorry, Bazilian. Yeah. Rob Hyman and Eric Bazilian have a band called what? Heimzillman, Heimzillian Brazilian. So it's their names. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but kind of intertwined like a weird hoagie yeah. mixture. It's like intertwining hoagies. That's sort of their logo I'm trying to get them to take on. Heimzillian Brazimen. Yeah. That is maybe the worst name for a band I've ever heard in my life. Wait, what? You're nuts. You know who else we're putting stuff out by? Who? Jeff Labar, Cinderella featuring Jeff Labar. Jeff, who's Jeff Labar? He was the guitar player in in, uh, in Cinderella. Not uh, the you mean the 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 metal band? Yeah. Jeff Labar. Yeah. Not Tom Kiefer. Now nah, he's over. He was like you oh, mean he the, stinks. <laughs> you mean the guy who actually sang those songs? Oh and, yeah, and he's got no scene going on. He's got what? He's got no scene going on no more. Uh huh. But yeah. you but you have uh, Jeff Labar. Oh totally. And we also got the heroes. Who are the heroes? Robert Hazard's old backing band. <laughs> but without Robert Hazard, I'm assuming? Yeah, why? <laughs> What's he ever done? <laughs> I thought he was a hero of yours. Oh, yeah. Kind of, kind of a little mad at him, though. And why is that? Because he didn't want to be on the label. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he I don't want to play rock no more, either. He plays that ukulele music. Okay. Like Bob Dilbin. So he plays ukulele music, yeah. and he doesn't want to do rock anymore, and he didn't want to be on Wawa Records. Yeah. You know who does want to do rock, though? Who? The Minions. Who are the Minions? It's a Dr. Dog spinoff band. Really? Yeah, so you, yeah. So you actually have a new band. Oh, on totally, the way. yeah. It's not, just, it's not just retreads. No, a couple new bands. We also got a project with Questlove we're doing. Really, the drummer from the Roots. Absolutely, it's a cross between Lee Scratch Perry and uh, Club Ninja era Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> wow, that that actually sounds kind of interesting. It's good. I'm writing some of the lyrics. I'm kind of like their Richard Meltzer. Oh well, now that's kind of now I'm a, a little less interested in it. Wait, what? Like, what kind of songs are you are you do you have any? Uh, that you've actually written for them already? Yeah, I'm not going to give you no lyrics, though, because knowing you, you totally hijack it. <laughs> kind of yeah. Blade Runner inspired, though. Your lyrics are Blade Runner inspired. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, well, I want to talk about the showcase out there. Okay, so you had a showcase at South by Southwest. Yeah, all, all them bands played, too. 
Uh huh. Yeah, but the the problem was. Yeah. I only made it through a couple hours of the whole showcase. And why is that? I had to fly home. Why? Well, you know, I got to Austin on like late Wednesday night. Uh huh. But the Wawa Record Showcase wasn't until Saturday afternoon. Uh huh. And by Saturday afternoon, I was just completely dehydrated and malnourished. Why? 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 I couldn't eat none of that Texas food. It was disgusting. What do you mean? What do you mean? The Texas? You don't like like Mexican food? Oh, it was terrible. You ever have one of them? Um, oh man, what are they called? Um, a taco? Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. A taco. Oh, did you throw up when you say yours? Because I certainly did. No, I didn't. I, I puked as soon, as soon as I smelled the, the darn thing. Because it wasn't a uh, cheesesteak or a hoagie. Well, the thing was, it, it almost looked like a mini hoagie, you know, uh-huh. but in a hard shell. Yeah. Oh, it was so disgusting. You and then you, you couldn't find no yingling or frank sodas. Uh-huh. Well, you said you were dehydrated? Yeah, I couldn't drink nothing. Well, why? Like, I mean, why, don't you, why didn't you drink water? Drink water? I don't drink water. What do, you, what do you mean you don't drink water? None of the Zigglers drink water. <laughs> you you don't actually drink water? No. No, it goes back to the 1800s. None of us ever did in the whole family ever. Whole family tree. Water? Yeah. Like, what do you drink? You know, uh, over the course of centuries, you know, sodas, yingling, soup. Coffee, rain. Rain? Yeah. Ugh. Cup your hands and again the rain gets in it. But you don't drink actual water? No. That. I'm just trying. You've So you've never had actual water? Not of my own violation, no. Really? Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, you know, sometimes, you know, you go to school and there'd be like the water fountain and you'd, you'd, you'd drink it, but you didn't know no better back then. Uh-huh. Yeah. But uh, but when you finally got smart, yeah, you stopped drinking water. Oh, totally. But, you know, at South by Southwest, I was so I was so parched and dehydrated, uh-huh. I was about to introduce Joe Jack Talcum. From... I know oh, that name. Oh, come on. That's, is, that a, is that from the Dead Milkman? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you were going to introduce... Hello. Why, is he on Wawa Records? Of course he is, yeah. Butterfly Joe, his solo project. Okay. Yeah. So I was so parched that I, I kind of fainted and I fell back and I landed on his guitar and I snapped it in half. So you broke the guy's guitar. And his arm. Oh, man. He's tiny. Wow. Well, that, that's kind of... That's horrible. Well, you know it was also horrible? What's that? They tried to take me to the hospital, but I refused. Why? Well, I mean, can you imagine what them Texas hospitals are like? Dirt floors, cows all over the place. It's not like that. People lassoing each other. <laughs> that, that, no, thanks. That, uh, uh, so you think at a hospital in Texas has people lassoing each other? Oh, I know they do. I'm not going to get branded. <laughs> They're not... This is this is the 21st century. Not out there, man. Oh, man, you don't want to know what goes on out there from what I've heard. There's no way you would have gotten branded oh, in the Oh, I hospital. totally would have gotten branded, you know. So I told them, you know, just put me on the next plane out of here, and Roy Jr. is going to pick me up at the airport in Philly. Roy Jr., who is how old again? Like He's 14? 15. He's, He's 15. 15. Okay. Yeah. And how he's going <laughs> to... So he drives... Oh, of course he does, yeah. Remember, did I tell you that he drove me home from that tryout? Football? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right, from when you were, you were trying out, like, Invincible. Exactly, yeah. When you thought you were going to be the next uh, Vince Papali. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be the next something, but that's coming up in a couple minutes. Hold on, though. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. uh, hold on. Yeah, so, so uh, like you know, little, the plan little, is for this, Roy to pick me up, and through, he does. Uh-huh. You know, and take, he, he's going to take me straight to the hospital. Uh huh. And by hospital, I mean the Wawa on Patterson Avenue down by the Spectrum. <laughs> well, how is that a hospital? Because, well, I got there and I pounded five great franks, three yinglings, three candy cakes, six peanut chews, four cheesesteaks. 
Uh huh. And that so, that was enough to 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 kind of stave off you not eating or drinking anything for three days. Oh, I felt so much better after that. You know, just like the old Roy. Uh huh. But then I threw up again. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to get gross. I guess I wasn't over smelling that taco out in yeah. Texas. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Uh... Okay. It's going to be tough going back there next week too. Going back where? To Austin. Oh, why are you going back? Oh, well, you know that restaurant I got sick at? Yeah. Los Del Fuegos? Uh-huh. They had this little jar there on the counter where you put your business card in it, you uh-huh. know? Uh-huh. Sure, sure. I know. I've seen that. And they had this drawing, you know, and the winner gets a free lunch. Uh-huh. And they pulled my card out. Okay. Well, it wasn't actually a card. It was a Wawa napkin with my name scrawled on it in red pencil. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so again, why why are you going back? It's a free lunch. I thought you got sick when you ate a taco. Yeah, I know, but a free lunch is a free lunch. Maybe I'll have one of them other things. What are they called? They, um, oh man, um, burrito. Uh, if you say, yes, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll have one of them. Uh huh. Yeah. So you're gonna fly back to Austin. No, you dummy. <laughs> How are you going to get to Austin? I'm going to take a Greyhound. You're going to take a Greyhound bus? Yeah. Just for this free lunch? Yeah, it's only going to take four and a half days. <laughs> just for a free lunch that you hate? Well, I might not hate it, you know? Uh-huh. If I if I try one of those things and like it, then, you know, maybe maybe I'll like it, and I'll, I'll bring it back to Philadelphia, and I'll be called the king of the, um, what were they called again? Burritos. Burritos. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you'll be the king of the burritos. Oh, maybe. Hey, hey question for you. You know, hey, you know that food is there already. You know, you know there's there's Mexican places in Philadelphia. You're nuts. Where? <laughs> I guarantee it. Where? You ever hear of a place called Taco Bell? No. No, no you've not in Roxboro. You never heard of a place called Taco Bell. I don't think so, no. Wow. You Not in my neighborhood. You you lead a sheltered life. No, I don't. I live I live a full life. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we can agree to disagree on that. Hey, how'd your telephone go? It went great. We the station made all the money it needed to make and we're uh we we are uh, in in the clear. Oh, you raised a couple hundred bucks for your high school? It's it's not a high school. Yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, stop. Okay. Sorry this isn't as big of an operation as Wawa Records. Well, it's also not as big as an operation as as W R O Y. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is W R O Y? That's my radio station. So you have a radio station now. Yeah, we had a telethon too. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd love to hear about this telethon you had. Well, it's it's right here in Roxbury. I'm the key. I'm the CEO. Mm hmm. And the head DJ. You're the you're the CEO. Well, you said it correctly now. Yeah. Congratulations. And the head DJ of W R O Y. Yeah. And what? Where on the dial is W R O Y? Well, we don't know yet. I guess you just pick your own number, right? That's what Roy Junior says. We're actually, like I said, we're having a telephone and we're trying to to uh, get. <laughs> you don't pick your own number. Sure, you do. You. Pick your own number. I want to be ninety three. Uh huh. Point four, because that's like one little blip above WMMR ninety three point three. Well, they don't go in even numbers. Uh, first of all, what don't the 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 numbers below the uh, decimal? What the three? No, you said ninety three point four. Yeah. The four. That's above it. Look. Okay. Okay, I'm writing it out. It doesn't matter, because you can't just pick your own number. Well, Roy Jr. said I can. Well, Roy Jr. is very, very wrong on that. We already got the old record player hooked up and everything. Hooked up to what? To the little, our little uh, you know, old stereo, and then Roy Jr. got us a radio tower today. 
<laughs> How did he get you a radio tower? Well, I'm not sure exactly where he got it. He said someone said he could have it. Uh huh. It's about 20 feet high, and we're going to bolt it onto the roof of our row house tonight. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like it sounds like another great adventure. Oh, I'm loving putting this playlist together. Uh huh. Yeah. Who's on the playlist? Yes. The Hooters. Yeah. Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah. Robert Hazard. No. <laughs> no. No. Todd Rundgren. No, we have the heroes. I've kind of uh, I've kind of like erased all the vocals off of the Robert Hazard and the Heroes records. Oh, so so you pretty much is it just. Is uh, are you going to play a lot of Heimzillian Brazimen? Oh, of course, yeah. Uh huh. Nem Roots. The Root, okay. Britney Fox. <laughs> uh huh. Oats. No, Oats, not yeah. Hall and Oats. Yeah, I did the same thing with Hall and Oats records. Because you just because apparently, if I can guess, Hall doesn't want to work with Wawa Records. Yeah, and Oats gave us a tentative year. He gave a tentative, so you might do an Oats solo album. Probably, yeah. Yeah, no. I could probably do that with them. Let the carbon and monoxide choke my thoughts away, hey. Wow. That Face is... ain't looking no younger. That sounds pretty good. So it could be Ziegler and Oates. Exactly, yeah. But you know who's definitely going to be on the show? Who? In the morning zoo? Who? Sig freaking Roy. Who? Sig freaking Roy. S- sick. Sick? Sig freak. C I G. Uh huh. Freak. Like uh, a sig freak, you know? Someone who's addicted to them cigarettes. Oh, okay. And Roy. And and who is that? Roy Jr. is the sig freak, and I'm Roy. <laughs> okay. That's actually kind of clever. Thanks. Well, I didn't make it up, he did. So you guys are going to do a morning show? Totally, yeah. I'm growing my mustache already. Oh, God. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess you do need a mustache to be a morning guy. Oh, yeah, it's like a double handlebar. DeBella, <laughs> he, he got nothing on me. So you're going for like a John DeBella look. Oh, totally. I, I hope to be as good, yeah. You mean as good looking? Both, yeah. Well, As striking. Let's say that, striking. Uh-huh. So I guess you, well, you are shooting pretty high with that because John DeBella was a very attractive man. Absolutely, yeah. And Roy's up, uh, Roy Jr.'s up to three and a half. Uh, packs a day now. Oh. He sounds like Jimmy Durante. (laughs) He's 15. Yeah. And he sounds like Jimmy Durante already. That's terrible. No, it's not. So, so Sig Freak. Yeah. And Roy. Yeah. And, and you guys are going to, what, like, what, what would a typical Sig Freak and Roy broadcast be like? Uh, no, uh, you know, we'd probably set up on the on the front porch, you know, uh-huh. over, overlooking our street. Yeah, you know, we kind of broadcast from there, get girls to pull their tops up, Ugh. that sort of stuff. So it's yeah. just going to be typical, just typical shock jock junk. No, it's going to be tasteful. Yeah, there's going to be stuff like getting girls to pull their tops. Oh, up. stop! Ugh. Hey, guess what our slogan is? What? W R O Y. Yeah. We put the word rock in the word Roxboro. We put the word rock in the word Roxboro. Yeah. You know, you could you could simplify that a little bit. Okay, hold on. Shoot. Well, oh, okay, you ready? Yeah. You could just make it. We you put You could just No, that's not the that's not the saying. No, that's not. Oh, stop stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Did you say stop twice? Or? No. Okay. Don't no. write. Don't write anything down. Wait. Is that part of the name, or is, or is that like a like a something you want me to not do? I don't want you to write anything down. Okay. From when I say go, say what you want me to write down. Okay. Go. We put the rock in Roxboro. I like ours better. Yeah, this one might be a little too uh, catchy and streamlined. Ours rolls off the tongue better. Yeah, yeah, we put the word rock in the word Roxboro. Yeah, I love it. You know what you're going to love? What's that? Seeing me on the big screen soon. Seeing you. Uh, wow, you really, you're really very entrepreneurial now. I 
got it going on, bro. That's going to be my slogan, too. I'm going to write that down. You're running a record label. Check. You're, you're starting a radio station. Check. And now, what, you're going to be a movie star? Uh, yeah. Okay, and how and in what? Well, check it out. Guess who's going to be shooting a movie here in Philly soon? Who? TLS. Who? Trent L. Strauss. Oh, tr- Trent L. Strauss. Yeah. The horror director. The horror director. I just saw a flyer for it. He's looking for some great unknown talent. Uh huh. In the Delaware Valley. Okay. And like, like, well, did it say what the name of the movie is? Yeah. Well, it's going to be kind of a remake of The Sixth Sense. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's called The Sick Sense. The Sick Sense. Yeah. So he's going to Philly to remake uh, an M Night Shyamalan movie. How do you say it? I'm M Night Shyamalan. Oh, I always thought it was Shamelian in in in. Shamelian in in in. Yeah. No, it's Shyamalan. Well, check out the storyline for this movie, The uh-huh. Sixth Sense. Okay. There's, there's this hot aerobics instructor, but she's too stacked to fit into normal oh, clothes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she has to wear this leotard, and she uh-huh. has the the ability to see when there's going to be incredibly grotesque murders. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow, that that sounds really that sounds really stupid. Well. And and are you cast in this already or you're hoping to get a part? I'm I'm going to try to get a part into it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, best of luck with that. Guess what the slogan is for the movie? What? I see slashins. Slashins. Yeah. That that's that sounds like classic Trent L. Strauss. And, and the poster? Yeah. It's a picture of this guy and he's getting his head squeezed through the crack in the Liberty Bell. It's disgusting. <laughs> it sounds disgusting. Yeah. Oh Roy. Yeah. I'm going all out for the audition. Roy Jr. has me on this health tonic. A health what is the health tonic? Well it's supposed to make you more intimidating. Uh huh. And it totally works from what I could tell. Well what what is it made of? Uh, he won't really tell me. Uh-huh. It tastes kind of like di- Diet Mr. Pibb, uh huh, but with like lemon and lettuce in it. Ugh. Yeah. And he's saying that that's going to make you more menacing for the audition. It does. Yeah, I feel like I could pound anyone right now, but the downside is that my skin's turned plaid. I'm not even going to uh, I'm not even going to ask how your skin turned plaid. You don't want to know, but you know what? <laughs> what? I'm pretty much always in a rage. Well, <laughs> so much so that Rhoda put me in a cage. <laughs> You're in a cage yeah, now. Yeah, I've been in here for the last two days. In an actual cage. Yeah, it's like one of them big dog cages, you know, for like a great dame. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, and that's because you. Uh, that's so. So she actually put you in a cage. You actually sound kind of. Relaxed. Well, you know, I'm also doing some other stuff that Roy that Roy Jr. gave me. And what's that? Uh, we don't need to get into that. Okay, we yeah. will. We'll stay. So that's kind of balancing you out. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, Roy, it sounds like you really have a lot of exciting stuff to look forward to for oh, 2007. Absolutely. absolutely. Oh wait, hey, I gotta go. Roy Jr.'s coming to clean my cage. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Philly boy Roy. Sounds like he, uh... Sounds like he's got the uh, entrepreneurial bug now. He's like he's like uh, Donald Trump or something now all of a sudden. With all his ventures. It's very impressive. And I can kind of guarantee all of them will fall through.